Hello everyone and welcome to another Story of Seasons Wonderful Life guide. In today's video we're going to be looking at the mini games and I have to say for me one of the mini games it was very easy for me to find. I found it in my first spring. Um, the other mini game I also found it quite soon in year two but then the third mini game like <laughs> before I read this guide I had no idea how to get it. For each of these games, I'm going to tell you when you can do it, who you can do it with, and where you have to go to be able to play it. I'm also going to tell you guys the rewards, and I'll give you guys a few strategies for the more difficult ones. All the time periods I'm going to give you, they're going to be from this guide, but keep in mind that these are like the official times, but then when you're actually playing the game, um, yeah, maybe these times will not be 100% accurate. Um, sometimes I think it's like the characters walking to the location or like something else in the game it kind of makes the times just a little bit off so if it's not there exactly at that time just make sure you're there like around that time the first game is the triangle game this game it's really easy to unlock just go to the twins house you can see their rope hanging down just go there push the a button and you're gonna climb the rope um, they play the game almost all day. It's 6 to 6.45, 8.30 to 12.20, and there's also some additional times in the afternoon and even at night. But yeah, this one is very easy to unlock. So, the triangle game, how should you play it? This game is actually really easy once you start to play for the long game instead of the short game. Um, and especially the first few times you play it, he's not going to try to stop you at all, so you can just do your thing at the top. Try to make a big area enclosed with your lines, like I'm doing right here. Um, and then you can see sometimes he's going to try and block me, but um, yeah, it's really easy to just quickly close it, even if he tries to block you. So my advice for this game is go big, don't try to go for the small ones. So what are the prizes for winning this mini game? Well, the first nine times that you win this game, you're going to get the moon ore. So it's like a white crystal type thing. And then the 10th time that you win this game, you're actually going to get a record and it's music from the N64 game. So that's a cool, rare, one-time award that you can only get by playing this game. Then 11 through 30, you're going to get the next rarest ore, which is the sugar ore. Then if you play 31 or up to 80 times and you win, then you're going to get the hop ore. Then 81 to 200, you're going to be getting the temple ore. And then... <laughs> If you win 201 times or more, he's always going to give you the Prosper Ore. The second mini game is a grave cleaning mini game, and this game you can only play it in chapter 2 onwards. And if you want to play this game, then my recommendation is as soon as you wake up, run to where Gary lives, because this game you can only play it from 640 to 750 if it's a non van day, so 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. On those days, it's only 640 to 750. If it's a van day, then it'll vary depending on the weather, but yeah, most days you can just go in the morning. In this mini game, it's actually based on your timing instead of mashing the A button. Um, so you're going to see this circle, and then as it goes in, you want to push A at the right time. And then, yeah, it's actually really easy once you get the hang of it, and you only have to get 80% or more of like the good, and then you're going to get a prize after you play it but actually the prize is just fish. <laughs> um, there's three different types of fish that he can give you, and if you get 80% or more, then you're gonna get it. But yeah, there's no special rewards for this game, so it's kinda just for fun. Okay, for this one, I had to make a chart for you guys because the timing of it is very difficult. You can see Grant, he's only going to play this mini game with you from 10.30 to 5, and only when it's raining on the 3rd or the 8th. So it's pretty hard to play this mini game with Grant. Um, the other person you can play this mini game with is Hugh, and there's two different chapters where you can play it with Hugh, um, and then you can play with him. 9.30 to 10.30 in certain chapters, or you can play at 12.30 to 5.30 in certain other chapters. Finally, we have Van, and it says Van, you can only play with him on the 3rd and the 8th if the weather is good, and it's going to be 
11 to 11.30. For me, I would say that this game is the most difficult and it's also the most fun. Um, this game is just the typical, you have to try to push the buttons as fast as you can, but also you have to be accurate. You have to push the correct buttons in the correct order. And um, yeah, they'll show you the buttons just before you have to push them. So as soon as you see the buttons, push them as fast as you can, but don't make any mistakes because then the time is gonna go down. This game, it also has kind of a complicated um, system to <laughs> how good you did. Um, if you're playing with Grant, all you have to do is get 9 or more, and it's going to be the top tier. With Hugh, it's 12 or more, and it's the top tier. But with Van, you have to get 15 or more. If you're able to reach that threshold, then you're going to get a reward and the reward is they're going to give you a recipe and they're going to give you a dish. So you can see in this game here I won Hugh's mini game and so they gave me this mushroom curry and they actually gave me the recipe to make mushroom curry on my own as well. So there are a few recipes that you can get this way, but honestly, there's also other ways to get those recipes. So this game is not um, required to get anything. It's just kind of a fun way to get a free dish. Which of these games is your favorite? The triangle one, the grave cleaning one, or the cooking one? For me personally, rewards wise, my favorite is the triangle mini game. But in terms of actually playing the mini game, my favorite is the cooking one. Um, I think it's really fun to try to push the buttons really quickly. So yeah, that one's my favorite. Please let me know in the comments down below, which one do you like? And I'll see you guys next time.